Good evening, everyone. Curry College Chief of the Forecaster, Joe Shaka. Take a look at the uh, uh, Fiona at Invest 99L. 22 images we're going to talk about in this video. So let's start here with the NHC 2 p.m. update. 50% chance for 99L, and this is going to become 90L, and that's a 30% chance over the next five days. So there's the NHC five day cone. All right, I got, I clicked the right thing. Here's the uh, imagery, the uh, anvil color imagery. You can see Fiona up there around 20 degrees north, fifth, uh, 45 degree west, 45 degrees west. And here's Invest 99L off to the southeast. Here's an image that I drew. I'm going to zoom out here so you can see. This actually came out pretty good with my drawing thing, Fresh Paint. And I did a couple of things here, and I think the colors came out pretty good. Uh, so here's Fiona. Uh, here's where I think it's going to be. It's going to track off the northwest. This is barely a tropical storm. 45 mile per hour storm as of the 2 o'clock advisory. This is going to track northwest and I think it's going to be somewhere within this area. I wanted to make this one big box but I uh, clicked the wrong thing and I made two boxes. But it's going to be northeast of Bermuda in about 4 to 6 days as probably a very weak tropical storm. If still being named a tropical storm in over, the, over the weekend and early next week. So that will be the rest of Fiona. His 99L right here. And this is going to come across. And I did this about 24 to 36 hour intervals. And then after that I started spacing it out. But you can see here. 99L is going to continue moving west. Then it's going to make that turn. And this is where I think approximately in about a week from now. Next Friday. As we head into the next week. And this is where it's going to be. In about a week. Not sure on its intensity. But again. In about a week, 168, I think it's going to be coming into the islands. And then 7 to 8 days, I think it's going to be in this area. And then days 8 through 10, you can see it's going to be somewhere within this blue polygon or rectangle-y shape I try to... Or trap... No, trapezoid, I guess, is what this is here. Somewhat of a trapezoid area uh, in days 8 through 10. And this is where the models really begin to diverge on what the future... Of Invest 99L is going to be. Then it's going to be. I think this is going to get a name. Uh, it's going to be named Gaston. But it depends on the intensity. Of what this thing is. And we're going to take a look here. At the model forecast. That I we've seen from this. But this is going to move off to the west northwest. And then I stopped it here. Because I do not know what the heck is going to happen. If it goes into the Gulf. Or it goes up the east coast. I can't say. But days 8 through 10. Look for a tropical cyclone to be in the Bahamas. Into the islands. And nearby to the coast of Florida. And I forgot to add it again. I'll do it in the next video. We've got 88 to 90 degree water in here. So we got to really, really watch anything that comes in here. And over here is 90 hour. I wasn't able to get... It wasn't available on the image. Satellite image. But there's another wave coming behind that. And you saw that in the first image. The yellow exterior. That's going to become 90 L as that comes across. And that also could develop as it comes west into a more favorable environment. So we'll watch that one down the road. But our main attention is going to turn to 99L. Here is the uh, spaghetti plots for Fiona. You can see that staying east of Bermuda and then eventually dissipating. Here is 99L. and looks very similar. You can see here what I have here in about a week or so. And if I go back here, you can see in about a week I had it coming into the lesser Antilles on the very eastern end of the island chain. You can see here too... On, if you were to take an average of some of these, you could see, and the general thinking is, in about a week it will be coming in to the Lesser Antilles here, approximately about a week or maybe a little bit before, a little bit after, depending on which model here you look at. But you can see here, I took this, I took the means of these, I drew out that red line, and I have it again in this here and here. You can see here, in the Bahamas and the rest of the islands in days 8 through 10, 192 to 240, it's going to be somewhere within this area. And here is the GF Operational Ensemble, and it's Ensemble Mean. Uh, the Operational, this is the 12Z, and I'm gonna, we're going to take a look at the 18Z as well, because I got that here as well. But you can see with the 12Z, then, you can see the Ensemble runs here, intensifying this to a pretty strong storm. The GFS this morning, I did not want to put it up here, had a Category 3 hurricane coming right in the province of Rhode Island, just to the south and east of that as well. This morning had a hurricane coming up in the northeast in New England. Now, I don't think that's a possibility with this, but you never know. We'll take a look as we get closer to analogs. But you can see the GFS ensembles. If this thing develops 
and it becomes a storm or even a hurricane by the time it gets to the islands, there's a good shot it's going to threaten the East Coast, I think, of some degree. But if it stays weak, as the Europeans suggest, so we'll also take a look at that. This is not going to be much of anything. Here is the uh, Canadian ensemble operational. You can see here the Canadian also. In about a week's time, it's going to start strengthening as it gets into the islands, and it's going to make that northwest turn, not going into the Gulf of Mexico. Here is the 18Z GFS forecast now for a Sunday morning. You can see here, nine. Uh, this is uh, what's left of Fiona, where the mouse is, the arrow is, 99L is to the southeast of that, right here. 90L is somewhere over here. Here is Sunday night, uh, Fiona, the front that's going to come through the northeast, uh, 99L, 90L. Tuesday morning, 99L, uh, 90L. Uh, Wednesday morning, I think the uh, GFS could be a little too fast here with the uh, speed of this, the way it's going to move. But again, it's possible. Again, this I'm going to be changing this. But anyway, Wednesday in five days instead of in seven days is about two days faster than I think it's going to be. Anyway, it has a storm in here, and here's 90 out behind it. Here is Wednesday night, Thursday, 99 L is here in the Baha uh, getting into the southeastern islands. Here, here's 90 L. Here is Thursday, I mean Wednesday night, uh, Zero Z Thursday, I shifted over here. You can see 99L is in the uh, Lesser Antilles, in the Antilles. Thursday afternoon, it's here developing. Here it is Friday morning, it's 1001. This is a tropical storm, a full-blown tropical storm at this point, coming into the Bahamas. Here is... Friday night, uh, 9.95, here is Saturday next weekend, 9.94, and let me go back one, so the GFS when I was downloading these about 5 minutes ago, it was only out to 192, and I'll be posting and talking about more of the GFS forecast later on down the road, so there's the GFS through 192, looks pretty similar, and it's in the exact same area where this, again, if this is, if this is correct, just seeing if this is correct, this is going to be a problem for the Northeast and East Coast in general. Because this could be a very, very impactful system. If the GFS and its ensembles are right and we have a tropical cyclone in the Bahamas in about a week to eight days, that is going to certainly be something we need to pay very close attention to here along the East Coast and maybe even especially the Northeast. But the European, on a different note, does not develop either of these, really. So let's take a look. Here is 99L right here. It doesn't even have 90L really. Maybe it's somewhere in here. But you can see what it has for 99L here. Here is Sunday morning. Here is really what's going to be Fiona at, the, at that point. And it's somewhere with it in there. Then you can see here Tuesday. Here is probably 90L. Here's 99L is a very weak wave. Here is it on Friday. And then... This here comes out and gets pulled up in here. This is not... And Fiona... I mean, not Fiona. Fiona's gone. Uh, what would be gassed on is somewhere in here. Barely even noticeable on the on the model. And then develops uh, what's going to be Hermine that comes after gas on. And maybe that will head out towards Bermuda. But whatever... I think 90... I haven't seen the, the new running of the ensembles yet. But 99L is going to be in here. But you can obviously see the European model does not develop this at all and it's going to be very very interesting to see who wins the race the canadian which develops it the gfs which develops it and the european which not many of its ensemble members at least this morning develop and neither does the operational model develop it at all so very very interesting thing to look at as we head over the next couple days and into the weekend and early next week but again as i stated yesterday the tropics are coming to life we're going to probably see two or three more additional named systems probably by Labor Day weekend here in the Atlantic Basin. That's it for now, and thank you for watching.